All right, so I'm gonna be comparing two HDMI 2.1 cables that I got for my monitor, or OLED I should say. And basically I needed something that was HDMI 2.1 and was around five meters because that's how long everything is that goes into a closet. So this one is an HDMI 2.1 cable, mouse. Mouse. All right, so I'm gonna scroll as you can see. LG, and you go to 3840 by 2160, 120 hertz, 32 RGB full 10 bit color. I can't do 12 bit if this was an LG C9, I could do, but the panel is only native 10 bit, so it doesn't matter. Uh, if you want to argue about it, go on somebody else's channel or page or something, but it. Hey, look, if you, if you really want to argue about it, this is still better than any monitor that is available. So you can go out and purchase a uh, $3,600 Asus PGU, Asus PG32 UQX and still not have HDMI 2.1 and not be able to use the full bandwidth anyway. So it doesn't matter. Um, anyway, point of this is I got two HDMI 2.1 cables. One is a Zeskit and here I'll pull it off. All right, so as you can see, I ordered the cable Decon HDMI 2.1 five meter cable. Um, this one I tried did not work. This I ordered as well, same day. Um, the Zeskit AK HDMI 2.1 five meter cable. This one I did connect and it did work. Uh, the first one, basically what ended up happening with the first one is when I connected it, it would just black screen, it would not even load. And when I tried to do the max bandwidth of, you know, 3840 by 3840 by 2160 and 120 hertz RGB, 10 bit color depth, full, it just black screen would not work. The Zeskit cable, as you can see, is working perfectly fine. And what I'm going to do is one more time, proof to show it on camera and then you know which cable to buy because it's nice to save 10 bucks and I do like the feel of the other cable but it didn't work so you know it's garbage the Zeskit has it's much thicker heavier so it definitely has way more shielding but I like the other one the cable decon because it was thinner it was nicer and the reviews people said that it did work with HDMI 2.1 so I'll try it again because I have the settings set up right now for the Zeskit on the 3090 Founders Edition. But if it doesn't work again, then you know what I mean? The settings are already in place. Then it's a problem with the cable. So that is the cable decon plugged in. I like this, it's just a lighter cable. And as you can see, 4K, 120 Hertz. It does say it on the TV as well. All right, and that is same cable, the cable decon plugged in. GPU is already running. It's a uh, G-Sync pendulum test. Remember, I still have my little Strix XG17 hooked up, but there's no signal or any input on that monitor. So maybe I could have got a bad cable, but I mean, I got two cables, one worked. Um, it's already a hassle having to go return one. So, you know what I mean? Do you really want to deal with that hassle? Look. I'm just showing you the one with the better shielding did better. You can order both as well. Maybe it will be different for you. It's actually not even showing up as it detects anything. Maybe I just got a dead cable. But like I said, it doesn't matter. I'm still going to switch back to the Zeskit. And I just plugged back in the Zeskit cable. And instantly the G-Sync pendulum test wrote, uh, came up. And same thing. I have both the monitors connected as you can see over there, the 48 inch in a split and it's a 4K 48 inch TV monitor. So each segment, um, each, what is the word I'm looking for, a segment? Look, each screen, all right, divided, each window is a 24 inch 1080p monitor. So it has a 92 PPI. And then this one is a 17 inch 240 hertz 1080p panel so that one is about 
I think 127 PPI, but yeah. So the Zeskit cable works. I liked the cable decon cable, just like how it folds up and it's nice. If this worked, I would have just kept it for the PS5, you know, with the uh, HDMI 2.1, but it doesn't work. I think it doesn't work at all, actually, so it doesn't matter, it doesn't even detect it. Maybe the cable's dead, because even if it's a cable that they lie, and it's only 18 gigabits per second instead of 48, it would still work at like 4K60, but it didn't work at all, so maybe it's just a dead cable, so maybe somebody else can try it, but... Uh, to not waste my time, I'm probably just going to order another Zest kit because it works. So, yeah. That's what HDMI 2.1 cable to get if you want, you know, G-Sync, uh, 4K, 144, I mean, 4K, 120Hz. 10-bit color. And I don't know what settings you're trying to change, so no. No. G-Sync and then able but but and also have G-Sync and change resolution same thing 3840 by 2160 10-bit color blah 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 HDR but yeah and then we can set the G-Sync range to obviously something that's not disgusting like 120 and that should look a lot smoother Right now the FPS is around 37, 60, 90, 40, chuggy again. It's going up, it's going up. It's annoying, it only goes up to 90, so when I'm showing it to you, it looks disgusting. All right, let's, how about we just do 60 to 120. My old OLED could not do more than 60 FPS with 60 Hertz. The panel is natively 120 Hertz, all the OLEDs are, but the hardware inside it did not allow it to go higher. But as you see, chasing and all that, yeah. So, buy a Zeskit cable. That's it. Peace.